I think it's pretty hard to deny the impact of policy uncertainty. We've been able to link it in a very concrete way to something that we can measure. The United States wanted to not give most favored nation privileges to a number of non-market economies, and particularly uh, Soviet republics and the Soviet Union itself. It was a screen for communist countries. And when the United States normalized relations uh, with China in 1980, we uh, started giving them most favored nation status, but they were subject to this provision of the U.S. trade law. It requires the president to every year grant a waiver to China so that they can continue to receive most favored nation uh, status. For most of the 1980s, there was no problem with this. Then uh, Tiananmen Square happened. After Tiananmen Square, but every year there was this process in the 90s where Congress would threaten to revoke China's most favored nation status. Um, and if they had done that, China would have been faced with much higher uh, tariffs. It's maybe seemed unlikely to a lot of people that we would ever actually revoke their MFN status, but it was repeatedly uh, threatened. Uh, Mr. Speaker, I rise in strong opposition to most favored nation trade status with China or whatever it may be called today. There were potentially a large number of Chinese exporters, which, but for this revocation dance that the U.S. Congress would, would do um, every summer throughout the 90s, would have entered the U.S. market. Uh, and they waited to do so until China joined the WTO. And this uncertainty and this probability of really bad policy shocks uh, essentially went to zero. You think about policymakers in Congress or uh, the president, you know, they, they actually have to, to do something. We have to change these, these policies, uh, change tariff, change how goods are treated at the border. None of that actually happened here. All that, all that happened was uh, instead of every year threatening to revoke MFN, we just said, we're done with that game and we're not going to do that anymore. The effect was as dramatic as what would have happened if we'd actually changed tariffs by you know, anywhere from four to five percent. And so it really ha is just this specific U.S. trade policy uncertainty toward China that explains the trade growth.